Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you around my completed museum which I have finally accomplished and teaching you exactly how to pronounce all of the fossil names as best as I can. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone for supporting me so far and if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed please smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos and my giveaways. Before we start let's start with the juicy part. A brand new giveaway for a hundred nook mile tickets that's right 100 nook mile tickets this is a thank you for all of you and your support on my channel so far and all you have to do to enter is to get one of your friends family cats or dogs or anyone who is not already subscribed to the channel to smash the subscribe button that's all once they're done leave a comment down below and if you win you'll both get 50 nook mile tickets each but it gets better if you manage to get three or more people to help you out, then I will give you an extra entry into the giveaway absolutely free. If you need any help entering, I will be leaving more information in the comment section to help you all out. Now that news is out of the way, let's jump into the video and find out how we pronounce these fossils. <laughs> It is time to finish the museum. I'd say it's taken me quite a while to gather these fossils. I actually tend to just pick them up out of the ground and then every time I grab one, I head to Blathers and see if he wants to take it. And the majority of the time he doesn't because I've already collected most of them. Let's make a donation. I just so happen to have three that you need. Um, so I actually managed to grab these from one of the Discord pages off somebody who was selling them. And now I can finally complete it. I don't know what he does when he says him. I don't have to pull them out. How do you get them? Final fossil has been found. It has. It has indeed. Huzzah! Ah, uh, Alex, before you took up the task hours was but a bare bone collection. Hoo hoo, hoo, ha ha. A bit of museum humour for you there. Ha, <laughs> hilarious brothers. Ahem, yes, that is to say, thank you for your commitment to collecting and donating fossils. Our humble museum's reputation is growing because of you. And my prize is... Hmm, let's have a quick chat. Might be something which you are going to... Yes, you can assist me with something, actually. A prize of some sort, please? Or... I don't know, maybe lots of gold, or... Um, owner of the museum? That was... fun. Let's go check out the museum. I think inside here is actually pretty cool. Oh, this is completed. Museum tour! Let's start naming some fossils. Up next is the awful Flobotobus, the Fleasible Snore, and the Archaeolon. This is a Quetzal Colocalus This is a Pterodon. This is quite fun. Uh, let's go to this one. I oh, see, the Diplodocus. Let's go to this one. Brachiosaurus. Sounds better in a. Like an American kind of accent. I'm sorry if you are American, I'm probably offending you, kind of trying to do an American accent, but. Stegosaurus. Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. Iguanodon. Parasaurolophus. 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 Damn, I'm good at this. Ah, oh, I spoke too soon. Ah, <laughs> uh, Pachy. Pachy Cephalosaurus. Pachy Cephalosaurus. That's better. Triceratops. Come on, T Rex. Where are you at? Spinosaurus. Coprolite. Dinotrax. T Rex. What else we got here? Dynanichus! Dynanichus! 
Archaeopteryx. That's, I'd probably say that's the coolest sounding one that's in here. What's this? Oh, what's that? Uh, can I click it? Click this. No. This. Dimetrodon. Churamaya. 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 Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremiah. Oh, I, like, I do like this room. Got the mammoth, got the saber tooth. I do like the saber tooth and the mammoth. This is one of them that we just completed, so that was the tail that we just handed in for the Mega Serops. And then there's a mega or megaloceros, which is like a, a giant deer or like elk. Then we've got the Australopithecus, uh, Australopithecus, Australopithecus, mate, donated by Jen. Legend. Ooh, this is kind of like a size comparison. I think that it's kind of useful to have a bit of a tour sometimes and to have a look around some of these things because. A lot of the time you don't actually know what they are until you, you kind of look at them and you can kind of see, see the size of them as well. So if you kind of look on the floor, so things like, uh, like the Triceratops is made up of three parts. You've got the head, the body and tail. And you can kind of work out how big a space you're going to need if you get all the parts. And once you know the full size of the actual fossil, you can then create some form of entrance outside of your museum. Or if you're making like a fossil area or they've found like a big dig site full of all the dinosaur fossils and you know how big they are so then you can place them oh wait we've got some more stuff acanthostegia acanthostegia kind of the ranger shark tooth pattern i'm gonna add amber i like that big head thing milo conmingia Mylokamingia, Kamalgamlaminga, smashed it. Dunkleosteus, Dunkleosteus, Dunkleosteus. I'd probably, I'd probably say the Dunkleosteus is my favourite. And the Euston and Fulpatsabertson, Eus, Eus, Theno, Teron, Eus Theno Teron, Eus Theno Teron. Yeah, sure, that sounds right. Trilobite, Anamalacloromonas, Anamalocaris, Anamalocaris. Sounds like a, like a sweet or a candy if you're American. Uh, anything else? It is kind of cool. I think the closer to the uh, camera would change. So, yeah, that's kind of like a bit of a. It's like a sneak peek of a completed museum. Um, as you've just seen there, you uh, get absolutely nothing from doing it, but it does look cool. And I would probably say it's out of all of the ones to complete, the fossils is probably the easiest, mainly because you end up getting so many different fossils. I head to my house and you can have a look at all my spares. I have plenty of spares. If you guys are actually looking for any, then you are more than welcome to ask me for them. But honestly, they're, they're very, very easy to track down. If you head to one of the Discord pages that I'll uh, I'll have linked in the description, there are loads of the different trading sections for fossils on each of the pages. And you can literally find any any fossil that you actually need. I found those, those I had three that I, I, I needed. And I found those within about... Five ten minutes. Literally, all you do is you find the name of it, and if you are struggling with the names, as I have just demonstrated in a perfect manner, the pronunciation of them all, because you know I'm a fantastic dinosaur entrepreneur. And as I've just demonstrated, they are not the easiest to pronounce, and they're even worse when you're trying to spell them. Let's have a look at the through. Yeah, there, here we go. So I do have quite a lot of fossils, and that's just from picking up on a daily basis. So you grab the four fossils, take them to Blathers, see if you've got them. If you've got them, perfect. If you've not got them, I just tend to throw them in here. And, well, these are all up for grabs. So if you want any, just comment. 
Oh, really? So yeah, I just, I just bought that so I could have just donated it. It is finally that time of the video where I'm announcing the winner of the 50 Nook Mile ticket giveaway. Thank you for everyone who has taken part, but this is just the start. This is a random YouTube comment picker. So what it's going to do is it's going to select one of the random comments from my video and then we can use that to see who wins. But I'm going to mix this up. I'm actually going to select 10 different people. Those 10 people are then all going to be entered into a marble run. That's for you guys who don't know what it is. We throw marbles in to a simulator. They all run down and whoever wins the marble race wins the 50 Nook Mile tickets. So I'm going to select 10 names from my comment picker and those 10 people will then be inserted into my marble running game and then they will find the winner. So let's have a look at our 10 people. So there were 63 comments in total. Thank you all so much for those of you who entered. I really do appreciate your comments and I really do appreciate the feedback that you give me so I can improve my videos. So let's have a look at our first winner. We've got James Backler. We've got Emily Burton. Dia Menchaka. That sounds cool. We've got, oh, I'm going to struggle with this one. I'm sorry. Kita Garu. Kita Garu. Yeah, that sounds cool. That'll, that'll do. Next, Firebat. Nice work. We've got Jessica, Dennis. Let's stick with Jessica. Bobby Plays Games. Arctic. Nice work. Soup. And our mystery marble. Okay, we've got all of our contestants here. Let's start the race and watch them go. This is where they've got to go down this lovely pink marble run course. Let's go check out how they're doing. Oh, Mystery Marble is actually winning at the moment. We've got Emily Burton. Oh, James takes over for second. Emily Burton still third. We've got Arctic four, Firebat fifth. We've got Jessica six, seven is Soup. Bobby is in eighth. Daya is nine. And Kata is in ten. Mystery Marble is still winning though. Still in the lead. It's getting pretty hectic for second, third and fourth. But somehow Mystery Marble is absolutely flying ahead. Let's get a bit of a zoom out there so we can see what's going on. Oh, Jessica is catching up. Jessica goes down the opposite side, moving side to side. It's neck and neck between Mystery and Jessica, but James is not far behind. Kids, Garu's come from last place all the way up to the front of the pack at third place. Jessica is moving up. Oh, she's getting stuck behind. Mystery Marble is still first. Arctic jumps straight through. Arctic's now winning first place. We've got Mystery Marble. Arctic, let's have a look at zooming on Arctic. He's not got far left to go. The others are miles behind. Arctic could take it here. Mystery Marble is soon catching up. Kids, Garu's gone for. Looks like a bit of a long option. Arctic's going, hits the middle. What is going on here? We've got Mystery Marble in second place, Daya third, but Mystery Marble takes over. What is going on? Mystery Marble goes for the jump. Arctic, oh, what is going on? Arctic and Mystery Marble. Arctic's taking his time going down the slope. Let's jump to Mystery Marble, who's in first place. He's taking his time on this part of the course. Arctic is coming down. Daya comes flying out of nowhere and he's out. Daya is out of the game. Daya has managed to fall off the map and has been deleted and disqualified. Mystery Marble is still out in front. Arctic's not far behind. Jessica's in third. Mystery Marble is approaching the holes now. Arctic's flying down the outside line. Mystery Marble's taking his time, but can Arctic take it here? Arctic goes flying past the holes, but Mystery Marble is struggling to get through. Oh, but everybody's catching up. It is absolutely neck and neck. Emily's there. Jessica's there. Arctic's there. But Mystery Marble is still in the lead. Who can take it? Kids, Garrow. Ah, no. we starting last place. Mystery Marble's going for it. If he hits this, he may have won it. But Kate Garrow's not far off. Can Kate Garrow catch up? Oh, we have. We've smashed it. That was an absolutely insane race. We've got Mystery Marble in first place. We've got Kate Garrow in second. Emily Burton. Firing their third, Arctic. Oh, Arctic gets taken over at the end. Got Jessica fourth, Arctic fifth. Got Soup in sixth, James at seventh. Let's have a look at our seventh. No, eighth is Firebat. And in ninth place is Bobby Plays Games. But our winner there is the Mystery Marble out of all of them that it could have been. I think that was a bit pretty epic race. But now we need to have a look at what the Mystery Marble is. So let's check it out. So let's reveal our Mystery Marble it is Greninja! 
congratulations Greninja404 if you leave a comment at the bottom of this video I will get in contact and arrange for you to grab these tickets thank you all very much for watching if you guys are not already subscribed please make sure you smash that subscribe button leave a like if you enjoyed the video and leave any comments down below with any tips that you've got for me and my future videos I'll leave it at that for now guys but thanks for watching I'll see you all next time